at this Paul and Russell Brands channel two days ago. Just about what John Campbell was talking about, you know, with the death numbers and these new ways the government have got of, um, since they've been called out, now they've got a new way of apparently calculating it. UK government have found the new way to record and report excess deaths. Is this in order to A, keep you better informed, B, suppress the number of people that have inexplicably died since 2020? Hmm, just keep the math fun. Well, I'm of the opinion that they're probably trying to make themselves um, not look as bad and try and make themselves look like they're not covering up what's happening with all these strange things. Um, or else there's going to be public um, outrage. Probably to, I think they're doing it um, to, to frame the information um, more favourably, which is kind of like... Um, Corrupt practice, dangerous, really. Opposite of what they're meant to be doing with the, with the whole World Health Organization. The opposite was actually misinformation. Um, but you know, I'm here, you know, doing little handbills and stickers to try and get you know some signatures and do a bit of promo for the channel. Every signature is quite valuable and important. And then online, you know, this just this little bit of you know just this little digital widget thing here on this little slim phone that I've got in my hand here, Russell Brand, here is 95,000 people, 95,000 people each with a YouTube channel, therefore logged in with an electronic form of communication because you can put, you can just click on their profile and send them a message, that is an electronic form of communication by the law, um, they're contactable by it because you click on the profile and send them a message. 913 comments, statements on it, of which I've put a statement. 95,000, that's just short of 5,000 short of, you know, getting a parliamentary debate on something. It, it's just ridiculous how now we... I, I think the vote... I, I think we have been... You know, like, it's amazing that, that they want us to turn up for elections. Our opinion, you know, 95,000, but you could get a, you know, you could get a completely new park built for that. If you turned up at the local council in a village or, or even a small town, with 90,000 people with a contactable electronic email address, what just tick a box to say yes you know you you know we agree with a b or c you could get a new park built from the council or something with that or, or more you know it, 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 it's but really the, you know this is parliamentary debate figures and now it's just regarded as throwaway kind of like really in it's almost like getting gold and then, you know, when they say, you know, they used to have, you know, silver and they mix it in with copper, in, you know, sorry, tin. And then eventually, like, none of the money has actually got any silver in it at all. It, I, I, it, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed that they still require us to turn up and vote. I'm still amazed that they have these elections and they require us to turn up and go in there and vote. Um, and if people didn't, would they just, you know, flip a coin for it? You know, if people didn't turn up, 